Hi, I'm Rebecca Ward. I'm a research associate at the Alan Turing Institute, and I'd like to give a quick update on the CROP project, Digital Twinning for Urban Agriculture. CROP stands for Crop Research Observation Platform, and the CROP Digital Twin has been built collaboratively between the University of Cambridge, the Alan Turing Institute, and Zero Carbon Farms. CROP simulates the growing underground farm in South London. This farm was created 33 metres underground in disused World War II air raid shelters built at the same level and to the same design as the London underground system. This farm is unique in its location and environment and as such has lent itself to development of a bespoke digital twin. The first evolution of CROP focused very much on the development of a 3D visualisation tool built in Unity as shown here. The environmental, weather and energy consumption data are collected from different platforms and brought into a central database for visualisation on the CROP platform. This tool allows the user to zoom in and see immediately what the environmental conditions are at any monitored location within the farm. It also allows the user to zoom out to see the farm location in the wider city environment. The development of CROP2 has focused on bringing added value to the data. So first, we've included interpreted visualisations such as this one, which shows the variation of temperature between the extreme ends of the farm, the front and the back, over the previous week. We've also generated graphics illustrating the daily and weekly cumulative performance. These show the number of hours over the previous day and week that the farm environmental conditions have been within specified bands. This is important as maximum crop yield depends on optimum conditions being maintained within the farm over the growing period. Since the crops grown on microsalads, most of which are in the farm for a period of just 7 to 10, day, 10 days, the cumulative conditions over the previous week give an indication of potential crop yields. We've also added in a data-centric temperature forecasting tool that predicts temperatures for two days into the future based on the historic temperatures and lighting conditions in the farm. The lighting conditions are important as the grow lights are the main source of heat in the farm. Finally, we've included a scenario evaluation tool. This comprises a physics-based greenhouse energy simulation model that calculates the flows of heat and moisture at the centre of the farm and is calibrated daily using novel particle filter methodology we've specifically developed for this purpose. The calibration ensures that whenever the scenario evaluation tool is run, the model is as close a representation of reality as possible. This tool allows the operator to try different operational scenarios in the model, such as changing the ventilation rate or the operating times of the grow lights and assess the potential impact on the environmental conditions that would occur in the farm. So this evolution of CROP has incorporated improved visualisation and forecasting tools and is paving the way for integration and visualisation of new data streams and improvement and expansion of the models as the farm expands and the level of monitoring increases. We're particularly looking forward to incorporating more CROP yield data into the platform going forwards. This will allow more in-depth investigation of the impact of environmental and operational conditions on crop performance. But this isn't the only benefit. Crop is also providing valuable information for development of digital twins of other bespoke systems in the built environment and more widely. The lessons learnt are universal and wide reaching, not the least how to deal with live stream data that can be messy and incomplete when compared against curated historic data. Translating models to run using these messy data can require substantial changes to ensure that the implemented models are robust. We're looking forward to many more new challenges as we continue in crop development. Thank you.